prepare for trouble and make it double. Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Justin the Light back for another episode of the Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke, and in this episode we're gonna take on Team Rocket, so let's go ahead and get started. I wonder what's gonna happen. Oh no, it's a Persian statue. There is a red glowing light. Hey, intruder alert! Alright. A rocket. Alright, rocket grunt, let's go! Oh no, it is a drowsy. Whatever will we do? Yari will take this thing out with a couple area laces. On this uh, delightful Friday, we're just gonna psh, we're gonna bulldoze over some uh, some Pokemans because that's what we do best, right? We'll stay in for the Zubat. Why not? Ugh. Yeah, hope you guys are doing well today. Uh, I'm doing delightful. Uh, today's been a really good day. I'm um, just uh, I just got some good news, so. That's good. I'll share with that with you guys at a later point. Um, some of you probably already know at the time of this recording, but yeah, I mean, it's good news. So I am pretty psyched right now. So I'm all like, let's take that energy into the recording booth, even though the recording booth is my desk in my room, but you get the point. You get the point, guys. And Yari is just going to take down the man. Also, it's really freaking hot in here. Holy crap. Like, I have my fan on. The above, one above my head, and I'm probably gonna go across the room. So once again, we're gonna take a trip. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play uh, this game all the way across the room. I hope you guys can actually hear me right now. I am shouting as I am turning on the fan on the all all the way on the other side of the room. So I'm technically still playing, like my controller is still in my hands. So yeah, welcome to the uh, Justin Bay experience where I am dying of a heat stroke as per usual in my own room, because that's fun. All right, Grimer, uh, let's go ahead and keep battling. Because I'm not too concerned about the rocket hideout here, but oh, that feels so much better. Whew, I turned on my, uh, my like, I have so many fans. I need to buy a new one. Mine's kind of junk. Um, I'll probably buy one at a garage sale or something. I love garage sales. It's just like, it's starting to become the season for garage sales, so I'm getting pumped, because, uh, yeah, just, uh, I love garage sales. Like, if I can buy, like, for example, I always buy those, I always buy power strips at garage sales, um, because people sell them for, like, a buck, and they're decently, and they're, like, when, when do you need a power strip? You always need a power strip. Like, okay, I kind of use power strips a lot, because... I tend to have like a ton of things plugged in. I think in my room alone, I have at least three. Uh, there's one under my desk, one under my TV setup, and one by my bed. Um, and then in my living room, I think there's another three. My brother's room has at least two I can think of. And I think I don't have any left over right now, which is kind of a problem. Oh, there's one in our spare room too. Yeah, and I need to pick up some more because I like having extras just in case one fails so I can swap it out and not have to go buy one at Walmart for like six or seven dollars. It's the little things. I mean, if I find one that's decent for a buck, I'll pick it up. Do you guys, do you guys ever go garage sailing? I love it. I, I love like just the randomness of it. That's why I like thrift shopping too, just the randomness of it, like what you can find. Uh, quick story about garage sailing while I'm battling these rocket grunts. I, me and my friend Alex and uh, Jeff and Michael were all at a garage sale a couple years ago, and Alex and I ran across this like, it was like a wooden like shield architecture. It was like a wooden shield piece, and Alex and I were gonna split it, and because we were gonna move into an apartment um, together at the time. And we were all like, oh, let's split it. And then we were all like, ah, this would be stupid. And I I, I regret it to this day. Um, I, I really wish we would have spent the... It was $10! Like, ugh. Because um, the um, the highway off I, I live off of, every year they have this garage sale called the 141 Garage Sale. It's the highway that I live off of. And it spans from the town I live in. I think it spans all the way to... Perry? Yeah, I think it spans all the way to Perry, um, but yeah, so it just goes all the way to there, and it's like, 
it's this huge garage sale where like everybody on the entire highway just has a garage sale and you can just go for like about an hour an hour and a half and you can pretty much go anywhere and there's a garage sale it's super sweet it's in like august i was thinking about maybe if you guys would like this, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. I was gonna do a special episode of Game Rants where we like kind of do like garage sale uh, thrifting for like video games. I thought that would be a really sick concept um, to do, just cause like you know it's something unique, and um, I'd film it on my phone, and it would just be something cool to do. So I thought that could be maybe a cool video for you guys uh, if you guys like that idea go ahead and uh, leave a, leave a comment just saying yeah that idea sounds good or like if you got an idea for any content go ahead and leave a comment um, I like to hear have feedback from you guys and it's fun to hear what you have to say about what I'm doing also on that note might as well self promote myself if you guys are liking this content so far go ahead and smash that like button uh, hit that subscribe button. You can even hit the watermark on screen and you can subscribe that way, which I think is super cool. I just put in the watermark maybe about a month ago now. Um, yeah, uh, comment, share this video if you're feeling frisky. Uh, we always are feeling frisky around here, so you need to share this video. That's how I get more viewers and you have more people to interact with in the comments section. So you're welcome, I think. But. Anyways, yeah, I, I'm not too concerned about the rocket hideout, hence I'm not really talking about the battles, and I'm kind of just talking about whatever right now. Oh, yay, another one. It's my turn. There's no escape. Ugh. Of course, gotta drink that water, too. And my... Oh, I need, like, a back... I need, like, a massage or something. If anybody, like, wants to buy me a massage, like... You'd be the real MVP, I'm not gonna lie. Like, you'd be pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, if you want to buy me a massage, uh, you can go ahead and send me a DM on uh, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Uh, Twitter and Instagram are at Justin the Light. Facebook is Justin Ewing Media, and YouTube is obviously right here. So yeah, you guys know. You guys know. You know. Anyways, let's go ahead and wreck house as we usually do. Nothing stands a chance against us I'm just being very uh, I'm just being very ADD today it's kind of fine uh, I'm kind of fine <laughs> I'm just like talking about whatever because I'm not too concerned about these battles and they shoot they're going super smooth I figured they would so today is the randomness episode which you gotta have one you gotta have one where you just do some fun stuff talk about talk about things you know it's just fun to sometimes sit here and play a game and not really like focus on it, but like just sit here and talk. Uh, those are honestly the episodes I like the best personally, where I just sit here and I don't really talk about the game, but I kind of need to worry about it. Hey, intruder alert. Yeah, they all like say the same thing too. So this is like blah, like Team Rocket, get some original lines, guys. Like where'd Jesse and James be at? Where'd they be at? Get them up here. Uh, let's just hit this thing with a strength. It should smack it pretty hard. I'm pretty, uh, pretty confident here. Boom. Also, quick reminder for you all, Mother's Day is this weekend, so, uh, do something nice for your mom. Speaking of, I need to do something nice for my mom. Uh, I should probably talk to my brother about that today. Uh, we need to do something for our mother, but yeah. At least, uh, at least call your mom. If you're not near her, uh, shout out to you, Andrew. You need to call your mom. To, you need to call your mom on Sunday. Uh, I know you're at work, but call your mom anyway. Put it. Just, just write a reminder in your phone. Do it. Do it. Call your mom. But yeah, just tell your mom something. Tell your mom you love her or whatever. Just, just let your mom know you're thankful for her. Cause you wouldn't be here without moms. Hashtag go moms. That's what. That's what this episode's just. It's about moms, guys. Even though, no, there won't be a, oh, there will be a, there will be a bonus video out on Sunday, though, for Mother's Day. I don't know what that's going to be yet, but we'll figure it out. I kind of just play my channel by ear, to be completely honest. Um, we just do things on the, we just do things on the fly. You guys know how it is. You guys know how I like to do up in here. Being on the fly is just, it's kind of nice. Um, I mean, I like to be ahead of my schedule, 
I like to plan certain things, but I don't like to plan other things. It's really strange. I'm really strange. And if you guys haven't figured that out by now, you're obviously not paying enough attention. Um, and yeah, stuff, words, people. All right, boom, hit the ratata. Hit the ratata. Nailed it. All right, surveillance cams are in the Pokemon statue. Okay, cool, I already knew that. Okay, sweetness. Um, I, I'm gonna clear out this floor just to make sure. Let's go to base lard. Uh, base lard should be fine to take on things in here. This is nice for training too. Just some nice training I can do on screen instead of like doing everything off screen. Usually I listen to like a podcast or something or like I will, um, I will, uh, crap, why can't I think right now? I will listen to like a podcast or watch a YouTube video or something while I'm training. I watched, uh, I was training, uh, the other night and I watched, uh, my friend Jack of No Trades stream. I know I was talking about that last episode, but yeah. Was that, that was two days ago. Yeah, that was two days ago. Because today is a day. So if you guys can do the do the math, you guys can figure it out, I promise. You're pretty smart people, I'd like to think. Um, I mean, you never know. You never know the intelligence of your audience. <laughs> Not saying you guys aren't intelligent. I'm just saying. Well, I probably sound like an ignoramus right now. Well, you guys are so dumb, man. Like, <laughs> somebody could just completely take that out of context, but... Oh well, you wanna know what? It's fine. It happens to the best of us. Isn't that right? Yes. Yes it is. And that Zubat's gonna eat a Hyper Fang for breakfast. Speaking of breakfast, I've been eating a lot of cereal lately. I don't know why that's important or why you guys need to know that, but... Cereal's good! Especially the uh, generic brand cereal, because it's so dirt cheap. And like... I've been like, I've been trying to, I've been trying to be a little bit healthier, make some healthier choices, exercise a little bit more, kind of be less of a bum as of late. So like, I'll replace a meal with cereal. Like, I'll eat cereal instead of something else. I mean, cereal's probably not the best option, but it's better than like eating a pizza or like half the other crap I eat. Philly cheesesteak Hot Pockets. Oh, those things are good. I swear by those things. They're so good. They're the only Hot Pockets I'll eat, but they're so good. Um, but just trying to make some better choices, and, um, I need to start eating salads. I'm not, like, the biggest salad person. Uh, there's, there are things I certainly like better than salads. Like, anything that's meat. Like, I consider salad is the thing my food eats, not what I eat. I mean, I'll, I like veggies and stuff. I just like them with, like, a meat. I just can't, like, eat a salad by itself, you know? Like, a side salad, sure, but not, like, my main meal. Like, if I'm going out to a restaurant, I'm gonna order something that's not a salad. Like, I've never ordered a salad at a restaurant. That's just, that seems stupid to me. Like, if I'm going to pay money for a sa for dinner, why would I order a salad? Like, <laughs> that just doesn't make sense to me. I don't get that. I don't get those people. If you could, like, justify that to me in the comments section, be my guest. Something about an explosive floor? Probably should have read that. Oh well. Oh, this Rocket Grunt's got four Pokemans! All the Pokemans. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and hit it with a Rock Smash, why not? Might as well not waste all of our Hyper Fangs. Especially on Pokemon that are super effective. Alright, uh, another rat. Here we go. On my own now. Rock Smash it in the face! Ba bam Maybe I should talk about the game a little bit. I'm hoping to get through all of this today, um, so then, next episode we can take on Price, and move towards Claire. We are getting towards the end game, which kind of brings me to something I've been wanting to address, but I didn't know when. Um, I'm debating if I'm going to do Kanto or not. Um, I don't know if I want to do Kanto, or if I want to move on and do a different project, or if like I want to like do like maybe one Kanto episode per week and do a shorter game in addition? I don't know how I want to handle that. Like, do like a shorter game Monday and Friday and then have a Kanto episode on Wednesday? Or something like that? 
Um, I've got a couple ideas for that. Uh, what the heck is this? Oh! Uh, hello. I got an encounter in here, but it's a coughing, so I can't catch it. That's awkward. I did not know you could get an encounter in here. That is very weird. Uh, okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and GTFO. I did not know you could get an encounter in here. Okay, that's encounter number two. I mean, like, if I get an electrode or something, that's fair game. I think there are electrode in here. So, heck yeah, I will get an electrode and nickname it. Uh, that's actually pretty sick. Because this is considered a whole new... This is considered a different area. Uh, I'll look it up, just to be sure. Where does... What is... Where does this take me? Does it just take me back to the beginning? Okay, it does. And I've already cleared everything out on this side, so... That's fine. And I went down here, didn't I? Uh, no, I didn't, actually. I did not go all the way down here. Why did I not? That was... That was weird. A secret switch! Uh, sure! Better press it. The surveillance system is off. Oh, that would have been nice to just turn that off. And also my remote randomly disconnected. That's weird. I use my tablet as my remote for the OBS. And it just randomly was like, meh, I don't feel like working right now. Okay, that's weird. But thanks for letting me know. Hmm. So back to back to the topic we were talking about before. Um, yeah, I just don't know what I'm gonna do about Kanto, or if I'm gonna do it at all. Um, if that's something you guys wanna see, let me know in the comments section below. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that. I may post something on Facebook about that. Um, Facebook's kinda like where I post a lot of information about the channel and, like, things I'm thinking about, or, like, preview stuff. So definitely, if you're not already, uh, Justin Ewing Media, it's in the, uh, description of every single video I put on YouTube. Uh, well, not every single one, like the newer ones for sure, like this series, all of them have it. Most of the newer bonus videos have it. Uh, I think most of Game Rants has it, not entirely sure, uh, but stuff like that, like, you guys know, you guys know what it is, you guys know how it is. Uh, Base Hard wants to learn Super Fang, that's actually, Super Fang cuts it in half, Hyper Fang is 80. Huh, what do I want to do here? I think I want to get rid of Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch is 80 in this generation. Yeah, let's do that. I can reteach Sucker Punch later if I need to. Um, I mean, Super Fang's pretty good, especially against something like really just outrageous. Uh, let's go for Halberd, because I'm not going to send in Shuriken against Magnemite just in case. I, I'm being a little overcautious here, but I would rather be safe than sorry. Um, that's just kind of the motto of a Nuzlocke. I would rather play it safe than be all like, oh crap. And also, since we're approaching that level limit, I should probably talk about this. If my Pokemon hit level 35, I can still use them. They just can't get to 36. Like, if they get to 36, that's when I'm in trouble, and I, ha I can't use them until I beat the next gym. Like, I can't even use them in the gym battle. But they can level up 236 in the gym fight. That's perfectly fine. It's just, uh, they can't be level 36 before the gym. And speaking of, I am gonna get my, uh, Beastly Gator out here. And we're gonna put, uh, we're gonna put Katana in the second slot just in case, um, something comes up where I have to do a double battle and I'm all like, oh crap! I forgot there was a double battle here. Uh, let's go down the other way, because the other way will be... Oh, shoot. The other way is this way. My bad. I'm good at directions. You guys know that from watching Firewatch. Uh, I am good at the directions. Directions are the good. Directions are good. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and head on down. Ooh, hey, Lance. What's up, brother? Are you all right? Your Pokemon are hurt and tired. Yeah, sweet. Thanks, brother. Thanks for healing the team. I appreciate it. Justin, let's give it our best for a Pokemon. Okay, yes, we will, Lance. Thank you, sir. My Feraligator and I are ready to go. Me and Shuriken are here to take on the world. Uh, sweet. Hello. The door won't open. Well, duh, it has to have a password that only Team Rocket knows. 
Okay, uh, Team Rocket's getting a little overconfident here. Getting a little too big for their britches, but... I'll take them down a peg, why not? It's too fun. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go for the Ice Fang. Because this Golbat will just die immediately to an Ice Fang. Bam. That was easy. That was real easy, guys. It was almost too easy. Dang. Alright, well, uh, see you later. See you later, bub. Thanks. You did- you done good. You done good, buddy. I appreciate your effort. Uh, anyways, you're up next. What do you have to say? You rotten little pest! Okay, I- I'm apparently a pest. I don't really think I'm a pest, but... I- I mean to you, probably, but not to me. I think I'm doing my job. I'm trying to get through this game and... be entertaining, so... That's- that's like my main goal. I mean, I don't know about you. I don't know what you up to, but apparently not what I'm up to. Uh, a Vano net. We're gonna go ahead and fight this Vano net up in here. Uh, let's hit, hit it with a surf. Oh man. Whew. Here we go. All right, Shuriken is on the cruise route right now. Level 34. Fantastic. Nice job, Shuriken. Grr. That was the most enthusiastic grr I've ever done. Grr. Oh, I want that Pokeball. That's where I get the... That's where the, I have to go kill all the Voltorb. So, or the Electrodes. So hopefully I can just catch one. That would be super cool. I'd take a free Electrode. Because I have two encounters in here right now. Justin, in order to unlock the door the radio for the, to the radio transmitter, you need the voice of a certain person. The name of that person is Parcel... Or... Pet... Petrol. Petrol. The Team Rocket Executive. I have found out he is hiding in their leader's office. Unfortunately, though, that room also is protected with the password. Justin, we need the password to their leader's office first. Okay, yes, we will get that password. Hello, sir. Ugh, the guy in the cape is incredibly tough. I had no choice but to tell him the secret about this hideout. Uh, yep, protected with two passwords. Hello, would you like to give me a password? Yeah, you used to work for Sylph. Uh, actually, I took... My past self took them down about, like... Three years ago, I think, yeah, that's about three year time gap between this game and Fire Red Leaf Green. That's right. I know, I know my Pokemon. My Pokemans. I know my Pokemans like the back of my hand. I love me some Pokemans, you guys know that. In fact, this is the third Pokemon game I've done. Kinda need to cool it on the Pokemon, but I just love it so much, you know? Like, you know when you just, like, there's just that certain game that you like replay over and over again like no matter how many times you've played it that's me and Pokemon like I pretty much am playing a Pokemon game at all times just because I like the I like the customization aspect and like the fact that like you can you can have a completely different playthrough each and every time um, that I was kind of getting bored of that and then I discovered Nuzlocking and um, and then Nuzlocking just re reignited that to like the nth degree and then I've been, like, slowly getting better at Nuzlocks. I mean, my first couple were... They were rough. Uh, they would have deaths in, like, the 10s, 12s, 15s, <laughs> somewhere in there. But I'd, I'd win them, and I've been kind of getting that down. Like, I think the Leaf Green Nuzlocke doesn't have very many spoilers for the Leaf Green Nuzlocke. If you haven't watched it, please go watch it. It's my first series, but I still like it. Um... There's definitely, I've definitely improved a lot since then, for sure. Um, but, I, okay, thank you for letting me click on the window. Um, I still like it, and it's still a really good series. Like, would I recommend that to people? Yeah. I mean, I've grown a lot, for sure. I'm definitely a better content creator now than I was back then, but I still like that series, and I still, I still would tell people to watch it. Um... With, is there projects I like better than it? Yeah. I like this project. This is probably one of my favorite projects I've done because it's been the most challenging and it's kind of pushed my, uh, it's pushed my abilities. Slowpoke Tail. I remember that. Slowpoke Tail. Slowpoke Tail. Slowpoke Tail. Um, what do you have to say, sir? I don't care that Pokemon are hurt by our experiments. Well, you're just kind of a jerk, dude. Mitch. You know what Mitch rhymes with? I'll give you a minute to think about it. The answer's witch. Ha, tricked ya. 
You guys thought I was gonna say something else. You dirty little perverts! Get your mind out of the gutter, kids. Thinking- oh, I should have read that. <laughs> oh well. It's all thinking is my strong suit? Alright, well. Here's an X special, hooray. That'll be a nice sale, because I never use the X items. And a protein! That's awesome. I'll take a protein. Hello, sir. What do you have to say? You challenge me to a battle? Ha, huh, you're nuts, but you have guts. I like that. If you can beat me, I'll tell you a password to the boss's room. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Okay, apparently this guy is a Disney villain, because he literally just goes yuck, yuck, yuck. Ooh, you have a level 19 Raticate. I am scared. <laughs> that is cute. That is cute, brother. That's cute. You know, that's real cute, man. I, I mean, I appreciate you trying and everything. It's just... It's just not. I mean... <laughs> the password for the door is Raticate Tail. So we've got Raticate Tail and Slowpoke Tail. The password for the boss's door is Raticate Tail, but if you don't have two, both passwords... Oh, wait! I think I do have both passwords. That's right, I do. Snarl, what a great TM. I even forget what Snarl does. I gotta remember. Uh, Snarl, Snarl, Snarl. Here it is. Uh, user steals the effects of any healing or status changing move the foe attempts to use. Interesting, I thought it did something different. Or what, wait, that's not Snarl. I can't read, that's Snatch. Wow, I'm an idiot. Holy crap, that was a mistake. Good thing I caught that on my own instead of somebody, my brother, commenting in the comments section below and going, Wow, that was Snatch. You're so dumb. How do you, you can't even read right. Way to go, kid. And I'm all like, thanks. I, I read good. I done read at a 5th grade level. Did you guys read at a 5th grade level? Go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below if you're a good, as good as reader as eyes is. Because you should be. Alright, what do you have to say, brother? Oh, a kid. I don't really like this, but eliminate you I must. Okay, apparently you just are wanting to crush me for some dumb reason. That's fine. Um... Uh, let's just surf, I guess. Stretching out the neck. Been being a little stiff today. I need to, like, kind of let the tension out in my muscles, you know? A rat! Keep battling. Oh, always keep battling. Oh, bam! Team Rocket is going to send in a Zubat. Oh no, whatever will we do, this Zubat is really going to stand in my way. Ha 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 ha. Oh, that just like sped up. <laughs> that was weird. Uh, anyways, let's go down the stairs of truth. Oh, look, a Murkrow. Oh. Oh! Hello! So you're messing with them again. Hm, you must really like Team Rocket so much. Tell me, who's the guy in the cape who used Dragon-type Pokemon? My Pokemon were no match at all. I don't care that I lost. I can beat him by getting stronger Pokemon. It's what he said that bothers me. He told me that I don't love and trust my Pokemon enough. I'm furious that I lost to a bleeding heart like him. Hm, I don't have time for the likes of you. Okay, apparently you're just gonna shove me out of the way. Alright, thanks for showing up, jerkwad. Uh, but we're gonna get this item. Ooh, it's an Ultra Ball, that's fun. Alright, and I'm gonna open the door and, um, challenge, uh, Petrol in the next episode. So, um, until then, we're gonna finish, next episode, we're gonna finish up this, and then we'll probably challenge Price. So, I will talk to you guys on the next episode, and I hope you have a good one. Team Rocket blasts off at the speed of light. Surrender now or prepare to fight. Me out, that's right. <laughs>